New York Yankees attempting to make this a World Series and Peter Gammons Dave Campbell who among us thought that they really would kind of whimpered nobody really nobody did well from the Bob to the Bay a change of venue big time a change of temperature big time by 40 to 50 degrees would it be a change of result for the Diamondbacks against the Yankees an emotional and reflective night at Yankee Stadium emotional on many counts the flag rescued from the World Trade Center flying above Yankee Stadium President Bush walking out to the mound calmly confidently thumbs up and what about this pitch I mean it was as smooth and it's a strike yeah Dale Scott called the high strike all night so it started early for the president and then as he posed with the managers then we get down to baseball Brian Anderson not Kurt Schilling not Randy Johnson so with the Yankees tee off two out of the bottom of the first Tino Martinez caught by Steve Finley bottom of the second Jorge Posada the leadoff man it's back 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 God, home run, one nothing Yankees. Well, Boomer, just as he did against the A's, down two to nothing in games, he started them off this time against Brian Anderson, then against Barry Zito. The Rocket Man facing bases loaded in the top of the fourth. Matt Williams a deep fly to right. O'Neill grabs it. Finley scores. We are tied at one, but Roger Clemens would pitch brilliantly. Bottom of the fourth, a long night behind the plate for Damian Miller. Candlestick esque wins. Day. The foul pop by Spencer. Plus, remember, there's a tremendous downhill. It's almost like being in a runaway truck lane there. The next batter is Scott Brocious. Tony Womack cannot handle it, so a couple men on. Next man up, Alfonso Soriano, is a pop up near home. And Miller, mine, mine, mine. But wait a minute. The Yankees think they've scored, but Dale Scott alertly, the home plate umpire called foul ball. Nobody touched Great call. First Scott was in position to see that Miller never touched the ball. And then he quickly made the call. I don't think most of the Diamondbacks had any idea exactly what was going on there. Soriano then retired by Anderson in a fly ball to center field to Rubio Durazo, who was hitting well. Robbed by Soriano. It is a base hit, but it would have gone into the outfield, and Womack would have scored. Instead, he saves a run, and Matt Williams liner to left. The play of the night, Shane Spencer ends the sixth inning and gets Clemens out of the jam. So two strong defensive plays. Bottom of the six, pop up Tino Martinez. This time, Miller draws a beat on it. Mark, amazing grace, not that amazing. Well, at the Garden, that would be a foul, right? <laughs> yes, it, yes, it would be Charger a Charger a block. <laughs> so, new life, and with Batista and Morgan throwing, Morgan comes in. Scott broaches to left and Luis Gonzalez looked like he might have had a chance to make a play on this ball with two out. Bernie Williams comes around to score 2-1 well, New York. Well, in contrast to the Spencer play, Luis Gonzalez played it conservatively and the ball dropped broken back. And Roger Clemens, meanwhile, in the seventh inning, knowing it was his last, strikes out the side. Mayor Giuliani applaud. So an old-fashioned six-out save coming perhaps by Rivera. Council bunts the first pitch. He's out. Uh, two starts. Seattle and Arizona don't bunt on Roger Clemens, and they bunt on a guy that could be playing shortstop. Luis Gonzalez strikes out, looking to end the eighth. And then Reggie Sanders strikes out to lead the ninth. Durazo strikes out, so four strikes out and five batters. Matt Williams, long foul ball to left field. Might have tied it, but instead Jeter to Tino Martinez, and that's it. The Yankees still only have scored three runs now in the three games, but on this one, three-hit performance by Clemens and Rivera, the old-fashioned fingers slash suitor slash gossage type save. Ruth built, which has seen so many great moments and on Halloween Eve turned early November 1st, it saw yet another great moment in postseason play. Joined by Buck Showalter and Harold Reynolds, and we're just privileged to have seen one of the fine baseball games, mm. certainly of this generation. No question about that. No doubt. If you add it all up, guys, think about it. Full moon, Halloween, Yankee Stadium, Dynasty in Trouble, Yanks with backs against wall, literally two out bottom nine. Bigger literally, if lose in deep trouble to try to win four straight World Series. What could possibly happen? Ah, that's why they play the whole game. Kurt Schilling, big debate, three days rest. El Duque, big debate, how would he be? First inning, El Duque loads the bases, but against Matt Williams, 
Strikes him out on a high fastball. Very fortunate. Got in some tough situations, Boone, but worked his way out of it. And then he gets Finley to pop up to Scott Brocious. So Arizona had El Duque on the ropes in the first, but couldn't do anything with it. Meanwhile, ropes. How about frozen ropes? Meanwhile, that was that was a one, two, three inning for Schilling. A walk to Luis Gonzalez. Hernandez then talks to Ed Rapuano with Matt Williams at the plate. Rapuano comes out. Yo, Sorry, what you talking out. about? Yeah, hey. <laughs> Eddie handled that situation outstanding. Yes, he did. Meanwhile, Williams grounds to Brochus. He goes to Soriano for a force. And so nothing doing after all. Arizona with rallies in the first and third, but they couldn't convert. Bottom of the third, Shane Spencer. Hero in the field in game three. Hero at the plate in game four. Back, 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 gone. The air funnels were going out to right field. The old curl around the pole trick. Mark Gray says, I don't need to curl anything. Top of the fourth, let me send it back, 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 back. Upper deck, we're tied at one. What a moment for Gracie coming to New York in the World Series going upper tank. Top of the fifth, Womack at third, Luis Gonzalez, shallow fly to left. Spencer with the catch in game three. Here comes the speedy Womack. Here's the throw. Pasano with the tag. Out. He's out at home. We'll talk about this a little later, but what a great play by Posada. Great presence. Good call by Eddie Rapiano, right on top of it. Like the calls the umpires have made in this series. They've been on top of everything. Yes, they have. So in the bottom of the sixth inning, a 1-1 game broach is a double lead now at third, but Paul O'Neill, a little chopper. Grace to Schilling. Yankees do not take the lead. Schilling still masterful. Top of the seventh, one on, one out. After a walk to Grace, Damian Miller hit by a pitch. El Duque leaves. And Ian Rapuano had nice words, very classy finish to his outing. And then Mike Stanton comes in, gets Womack hit into a 4-6-3 double play. We're still tied at one. Bottom of the seventh, one on, none out. Finally a walk, he's human, from Schilling to Tina Martinez. But O'Neill hits into a 4-6-3 double play started by Craig Council. And then David Justice with two out, swung on and missed. Nine Ks, three hits, one run Schilling through seven innings. Top of the eighth, the Rubio Durazo. Been swinging great as DH for two games over Bernie Williams' head. Gonzalez around third. Soriano relay nowhere close. Two to one Diamondbacks. Good relay. relay. He's probably out. I thought the relay was inconclusive. He might have missed second base there. Matt Williams, the grounder to Derek Jeter, but no. Posada drops it. Pinch runner Midray coming score. Looks like he would have been safe anyway. I think he's safe on both ends of it. Dropped the ball and probably Cummings beat the throw. So base hit. Williams, meanwhile, Schilling out. Surprised a lot of people, but Bunyun Yun Kim strikes out Spencer, Brocious, and Soriano. We go to the ninth. After ground out by Jeter with one out, Paul O'Neill, base hit. Now you got to remember, Kim has not thrown in nine days. Plus, they had him up in the seventh, came in in the eighth. Bernie Williams strikes out, but it's Tino. Tino with two out. Back, 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 back. We're tied at three. One of the great moments. A two run home run, two out, bottom of the ninth to tie it at three. This place went crazy. Oh, my goodness, but the Yankees weren't done. Walk Posada, single justice, but Spencer strikes out. What would we have in the tenth? We would have Mariana Rivera, one, two, three. Two outs, Yankees, none on. Derek Jeter, it's down the line. Is it long enough? Is it high enough? God! God! Mr. November, Derek Jeter, as the clock had just struck 12. Kurt Schilling, in a game he started, Watch Kim give two up in the ninth, and the Yankees win in the tenth. A great World Series game, period. Yankees win it by the count of four to three. Era is continuing to be proven right. A, you're never out of it till you're out of it. B, deja vu all over again. We're going to add another one. He always said in October baseball games at Yankee Stadium, when he played left, it gets late out here early. It gets early out here late. Here we go again with game five of the World Series. The Diamondbacks and the Yankees and Don Mattingly, one of those who threw out the first ball, gives Mayor Giuliani his USA jacket pregame warm-up. Mike Musina trying to come back from a very subpar game one. K's Craig Council. Tina Martinez down the right field line, but the bounce to Reggie Sanders is perfect for him. And so O'Neill holds a third. 
Runners at first and third. A lot of people expecting a Yankee blowout against Batista. But Miguel Batista, K's Jorge Posada, and escapes the jam. You see him, meanwhile, had a strikeout working against Williams and Steve Finley. Bottom of the second, Batista against Broches. And watch Craig Council, the first of many plays on the night. He had an outstanding defensive night, Boomer. He's been there. Great first step, great anticipation. Look at the glove almost came off. He needed that extra webbing there to get that play done. What a great defensive series he's had. Damian Miller, the catcher, couldn't go with a calf injury. Rod Wonder Barajas singles to center in his first uh, World Series at bat for the first hit of the Diamondbacks, and Miller says this is great. Yeah, the teammates tell him he's the MVP for taking a night off. And then Barajas throws him out. He's having a terrific night. Throws out Soriano in the third inning, Dave, and Miller is smiling even more. Later in Derek Jeter's at bat. Miguel Batista, thought by Yankee, uh, Yankee fans to be cannon fodder as anything but. Top of the fifth, Steve Dorsal Finley leads off against Messina. Back, 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 back. God, one nothing Arizona. Then with two outs, Rod Barajas, Wonder Barajas, sends it way back. God, he's the star of the game. Two nothing Diamondbacks. Non drafted free agent, junior college out of California, Don Mitchell scouting department, just took him for a wing. Grounder up the middle, look at Craig Council, but the throw can't be scooped by Great Shane Spencer is on bottom fifth. He's at second now for David Justice, who has had a brutal World Series, his ninth K in the series. And then Paul O'Neill grounds to Council, he tags Jeter, and he completes the double play. So the score remains 2-0. Now top of the seventh, two on for that man again, Barajas. Again swinging well. Shane Spencer coming of age in left field makes the grab. Then broaches bottom seven to right field with two on, and Batista escapes the jam. By this time, the Yankees were one for 23 with men in scoring position in the series. Womack at third with nobody out, but Mishina gets Craig Council to ground to first, one out. Just looking for a fly ball, but Luis Gonzalez strikes out. Next up, Matt Williams on the breaking ball. Pops to second. And a major, major escape from Yusina. The score remains two to nothing. Bottom eight. Chopper to second. Soriano can fly. Council makes another sizzling play. Next up, Derek Jeter. Gets. Batista gets him swinging two out. Boomer, without a doubt, the, most, the least selective game I've seen the Yankees have all year. They were swinging a lot of bad pitches. But here's the Yankee magic. Womack can't catch this blooper by Bernie Williams. Runners at first and third. Batista at their seven and two thirds. Outstanding innings is gone. Zeke, Greg Swindell is up to face one of last night's heroes, Tino Martinez. But Tino pops the left, and the score remains two to nothing to the bottom of the ninth. Can it be? Byung Yong Kim is in again. Kurt Schilling, oh no. But Kim comes in against Navlock, second out. Bottom of the ninth, two out. Man aboard for the Yankees, and Scott Broches is up. There it goes, down the left field line. Back, 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 as he did in 98 up Trevor Hoffman. God, it's gone and so's the lead. Jim says, are you kidding me? Broaches with the react on the home run after Prasada opened with a double. Two out, two run home run for the second straight night off Kim has tied it. So we go one, two, three, ten for both. Top of the 11, bases loaded. Oh, but Reggie Sanders round by Soriano. And then Mark Grace to third base. Broach just makes the play. Bases loaded. Arizona doesn't score. Now bottom 12, Albi Lopez on. Soriano with a base hit. Chuck Knobloch flying around third. Sanders is throw. Short up. Safe. It's happened again. They tie it with two in the bottom of the ninth. In 12, the Yankees win it. The New York Yankees have won three one-run games in this series to go from 0-2 to up 3-2. They win 2-1, they win in 10, and they win in 12. When the cut, it's the full moon must still be out in New York. Frank Sinatra behind me singing for the 19th time. He gets residuals, I'm sure, on every one of them. Yankees 3. 
Diamondbacks 2, Rich 